a Muslim is not permitted, for instance, to uh, commemorate Diwali. A Muslim is not permitted to commemorate Holi. A Muslim is not permitted to celebrate Hanukkah. A Muslim is not permitted to celebrate Christmas, all these various celebrations. This is the ruling for Muslims. They are prohibited. This prohibition is what some people dispute, especially when it comes to Christmas. With the other uh, religious celebrations, the books of jurisprudence are very clear, like Mahrajan and Nehruz. These are Persian festivals, Persian New Year and other types of festivals. The books of jurisprudence are very clear that these types of celebrations are not permitted. And they mention that even exchange of gifts, when they exchange gifts, Muslims should not exchange gifts when these celebrations occur. One of the main underlying reasons for this ruling is the identity of a Muslim to preserve the I religious identity of each faith. Why is this important? This is important that the message of Islam remain very clear. And additionally, there is no compulsion in religion. So some people misunderstand this by saying that there is tolerance by celebrating and commemorating the religious celebration of uh, another faith. But in reality, th this is a type of compulsion of, where people are compelled emotionally to celebrate the religious uh, s uh, commemoration or celebration of another faith when their, their own religious identity must be preserved. This is one of the underlying wisdoms in the Sharia. 